Hi everyone, Boomer here. This video is going to be the only trading strategy you will ever need part three. So we have a part one and a part two where I lay out a very simple trading strategy that I started with. And this is going to just be part three to that trading strategy. And before I get going, if you could please like and subscribe, that would be very helpful to get the word out. I am definitely not a marketing genius. I really know nothing about marketing at all. Um, I just know about trading, and I have a simple way of making these videos. Uh, but if I did know something about marketing, I would like to get these videos out to more people so that they can learn how to trade as well. Because I've noticed in my experience and kind of looking on YouTube to kind of, you know, read about what other, listen to what other people are doing. I notice a lot of people have a lot of trading videos. Um, and to me, it looks like they're marketing, marketing specialists and not trading specialists because of all the things they're able to do uh, with their trading videos. And um, if I really go on a tangent, I also notice that they like to send different strategies and different ideas on a weekly or monthly basis out to their viewers, which to me makes absolutely no sense because I trade one way and I show you that I trade one way. I don't have 16 different strategies that I'm trying to trade. I really have one strategy I'm trying to trade, and that's exactly what I'm showing you. It's the price action strategy, and I only use that strategy to make money. I don't need to add more to more layers to what I'm doing because there's really no need for it because I'm winning 80 to 85% with what I'm doing, and I have been for the last five years. So just be be weary when you're you know looking through different YouTube videos and different videos that are out there of people that have different strategies all the time. Um, if it's not something that they're trading on a regular basis, it's probably just made for you to sign up for something on their website or something they're trying to make money or something from from this. It's not a genuine. Um, it's not a very genuine cause to try to help you. Uh, but you do find a lot of good people out there that, um, you know, maybe 10% that are, are genuinely trying to help you learn how to trade. And I hope you, uh, you really stick with those people. And if this uh, method that I use resonates with you, uh, maybe this will help you learn how to trade in the months to come. Um, but without further ado, part three. So what I did in part three is we know that the strategy is we're looking for signal bars off the 21 EMA, okay? So that is how the strategy started. From there, I told you to start looking for different type of trades in part two off the 21 EMA. Um, and then in part three here, I'm only having you look for second entry trades or failed second entry, entry trades off the 21 EMA. And there'll be days that um, like Wednesday of this week, there were no trades that were failed or second entries off the 21 EMA. But then on a day like Thursday or a day like today on Friday, um, I think I have nine trades in those two days combined. So there were a ton of trades. So it's going to kind of work like that. Um, and what this really does is it teaches you discipline. It teaches you discipline not to take every single trade that you see, but only look for the perfect setups. And this is one step closer to the perfect setups. So I am going to make this a little larger so I can show you all the trades that took place in the last two days. Okay, obviously we had a um, huge announcement yesterday at 7.30 a.m. Central Time, 8.30 a.m. Eastern. That was not positive. Um, more inflation reports that weren't positive. Um, and that's why you had this huge drop off in the matter of two minutes. But before that happened, I want you to take a look here. We had a high, we had a first entry, and then we had a signal bar, not a big signal bar. I'm sorry, we had a high right here, I apologize. Then we had a first entry, and then we had a second entry, which obviously worked out. Every one of these trades in the last two days, believe it or not, and these are not cherry pick trades, uh, they worked out. But again, you're looking for the high, first entry, so it has to come below this bar, and then you have to get a or a, you have to get a tick above the previous bar. That constitutes a first entry, okay? And then same thing happened here. We have lower lows, and then we have our 
first bar that goes a tick above the previous bar, that is considered a second entry. And everyone has a different way of doing this, um, these second entry longs or second entry shorts. But this second entry long technically would have triggered one above this bar, but I do not take it above that bar because that's a bearish bar. So I am waiting for a bullish bar that doesn't move too far away. And that's exactly what I get. I get a bullish bar that goes one tick below the previous bar. And to me, that trapped a bunch of, sh a bunch of shorts and got me in at this trade. And I was able to get a winner out of that. So if we continue to move on here. All right. So starting on the bottom, here we have a first entry short and a second entry short. See that? First entry short because it goes a tick below the previous bar, at least a tick. And then it comes back up and over. And then we get a tick here below the previous bar. And then it comes back up. So that's actually a failed second entry short. So it makes a second entry short, but then it fails and goes in the opposite direction. Hence the reason I have the F2ES, failed second entry short. You get in right here and you take your one-to-one -one or whatever your uh, strategy is. And it is a winner. Continuing on on the 21 EMA, here we have a second entry short. Okay, so this to me is just congestion. So here's your first entry. Here it comes a tick above there. There is your second entry. So again, starting on the bottom, first entry short, coming a tick above here, a couple ticks above. I mean below, second entry short, okay? Again, these are not, there's plenty of second entry shorts and longs that take place and failed second entry shorts and longs, but they don't take place with the signal bar, the proper signal bar. So that's something just to be, uh, be aware of. Okay, continuing on. So now we have a failed second entry short, okay? So this is the low, here's the first entry. Here's the second entry, but it immediately goes the other direction and fails, okay? There's your signal bar right there, two ticks from the top, and you have your winner. Failed second entry short. We had a ton of trades yesterday, just a ton of trades to choose from. Here we have the high, okay? So it's going to be a second entry long, but this is going to be the first entry. And here is the second entry on a beautiful signal bar. So you place your... Uh, you place your entry or your limit order one tick above, and you let it go. And then you obviously place your stop loss one tick below the signal bar. Again, this is a continuation from part one and part two, so if you haven't seen those, go back and watch those two videos before you're watching this one. Okay, no more trades yesterday, so we're going to go all the way to today. <clears> hmm. <throat> We'll get to a trade eventually. See, this is what can happen when you're looking for a specific entry. You don't get trades as often as you would like, okay? But it does teach you to be in front of the screen, watch what's going on bar by bar, and be prepared. Be prepared for a trade that might happen. For instance, right here, here we have a high. We have a first entry. We have a second entry. The only thing that didn't happen here was the signal bar. Okay, but if we would have gotten the proper signal bar, okay, that finished on its low, this would have been a great trade. But you're ready for that trade. You're ready just in case the signal bar develops. But it's also really, really positive and a good, a really, really good thing to train your eye to do is to not only look for that signal bar, but train your brain to not take every single trade that takes place. We are only looking for the highest probability setups the setups that give us the best edge to win. So that is not every signal bar that happens off the 21 EMA, okay? It's not also every signal bar that happens off a second entry or a failed second entry, but it is moving you in the right direction to get closer to getting to that 80 to 85% win rate. And this is just the progression in that step. All right, so we got the bottom here, okay? First entry, second entry. Another trade that works out. So we got a second entry short here, okay? First entry, 
nice signal bar second entry that that actually is uh if you look at that that's a beautiful trade because what that does there we're in all this consolidation you get uh price moving above all this consolidation and then immediately turning back around what that shows you is that we have trapped longs that got into that trade so we've got traders that got long there it immediately reversed and it comes right there and stops them all out and that's why you get this little bit of a surge down Here we have high, first entry long, second entry long, but it's actually a failed second entry long, and that's what we're looking for because it is under. So the reason that you know it's a failed second entry long or you're looking for a failed second entry long is because it's under the 21 EMA, okay? Here on the second entry short, it's under the 21 EMA, so you're not looking for any longs right now while price is closing below the 21 EMA. And the same thing here, you're not looking for any longs as price is closing below the 21 EMA. And that was actually a really nice trade on that failed second entry long. High, first entry, second entry. Not sure if this is the last one or not, but I think we're getting close. All right, now we have a low, first entry short, second entry short. And if you'll look at that one, that one closes literally a tick below the 21 EMA. But it does the same thing that you saw in that last trade. You've got this consolidation right here. And you've got price moving up, trapping all those longs, immediately reversing. And you're getting in here. And all those longs are now getting out of their trade. So that's why you get that push down so quickly. Same thing that happened over there. You get that quick push. Okay, that one was a little bit bigger than the last one. But the same exact thing happened right here. You get in, get that quick push down. You'll notice that when that happens, you get a lot of bearish bars that are finishing on their lows immediately out of the gate there. Again, finishing not at its lows, but near its lows here because you're getting that really, really fast push. And that is it. Okay, so this is just another exercise um, and another video to take you a little bit past where part two took you. Okay, so if you're paying attention... Again, I'm asking you to, the only trading strategy you will ever need, start with part one. Once you understand part one, go to part two. Once you understand part two, go to part three. And these are just going to slowly build on each other. And if you're paying attention to these videos, you're not going to see me, you know, shooting out another, um, you know, the simplest strategy ever on the five minute chart or, or whatever you see on these YouTube videos from other traders or I would say other marketers because I trade one way. And I'm showing you exactly how I trade and how I make money trading. And if you do the same thing, you will also make money trading, but it's on you. That's why I like uh, put. That's why I put a video of Mark Douglas out there yesterday. Mark Douglas has helped so many traders see trading in a completely different way, and he's taken people that have struggled in trading and he's made them successful. They've already understood price action, or they've already understood certain strategies, or something that worked. But what they couldn't get over is losing. They couldn't get over losing trades because they weren't thinking in probabilities. And what Mark Douglas really helps people do is think in probabilities, not take it trade by trade. Think in probabilities just like a casino thinks in probabilities. And um, if you pay attention to that and you study some of his material, you'll become a better trader, guaranteed. That's all, guys. I am out. I hope everyone has a good end of the week and has a great weekend. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I do not know how to market this stuff. I wish I did so I could help more people. The only way to market it is for you to like and subscribe, and then it'll get out to more people so that they can learn um, this really I, I'm going to say easy strategy to trade. It does take time, so I don't want to act like it's the easiest thing in the world to do, but it does take time to learn. But once you get it, it becomes very robotic and very easy, and your eye gets trained to it. If you just follow part one, part two, and part three, what you're going to start to do over the next couple of months is really train your eyes to look for what it needs to look for. And uh, this, this part three here, this video that you just watched is just building on what I built on in part one and part two. All right, that's all I got. Boomers out.